The Crimson Dragon is infamous for its ability to summon the Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity during your opponent's turn, totally locking them out of playing monsters or even cards on the field for that entire turn, which is a little bit toxic. However, the card's versatility goes far beyond that, and not very pe many people are experimenting with it. So today, we're going to be using it in Monodium and using it as a level 10 bridge between our level 10 Synchro Monsters to summon out the likes of Dispater. It just means that we've got more versatile access to Dispater, who, of course, is not only an excellent boss monster, but unlike the others, is also an extender, so he can help you actually sort of get through that ceiling where normally you would have stopped with maybe two synchro monsters. Now you can push through and put up maybe three or four. So this Peter is pretty interesting uh, in that regard. And the Crimson Dragon makes summoning it even easier uh, than the traditional list because in your traditional list, you needed to use Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon, which wasn't super difficult, but you weren't always able to get into it. So this is the list we're going to be testing out today. I'm going to be bringing this into right. I haven't really play tested very many of the combos of the Crimson Dragon. Again, I've been sort of in the mood where I want to learn these things live because it's fun, I don't know, I enjoy it more. So we're gonna take it in, we're gonna play around with it live. I have done like a couple of like uh, solo mode games and things, so I am fairly familiar with the combos, plus your boy fucking plays Monodium, right? I know how to play Monodium. So uh, we'll be fine. Uh, we do also get the benefit of playing a shit load of trap, uh, hand traps in this. I am on the droplet, pe droplet type. I'm being sold on Droplet, I am definitely a fan. Uh, since that hero stream we did, I've been all over this card. This card's amazing. But yeah, we have tons of room for plenty of tech cards as well. So if you're a fan of hand traps, you're going to be a fan of this one too. I'm not going to waste too much time here at the start. Of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed to catch more things as it comes out every single day. Be it deck profiles, live streams, challenges, whatever, right? Uh, if you want to catch anything you get related, make sure to subscribe. And if you are a subscriber and you want to see more content from myself, check out our second channel, Converge Gaming Plus, where we just play basically um, random games. It's going to be much more community-based, uh, multiplayer with fans, members of the Discord, things like that. So if you want to be involved in that sort of more community-based channel, uh, involved with a bunch of different games, go, to, go subscribe to Converge Gaming Plus. Like the video if you enjoy. Let's hop right in. So the deck basically plays a lot like regular old Monarion. The main deck hasn't changed, and the extra deck has very uh, changed very slightly. It's essentially changed in, in a capacity that allows the Crimson Dragon to more easily access certain parts of your extra deck. It does unfortunately mean that it's just a little bit too tight for our tier 11 cards, which does kind of suck, um, but we are going to simply make the most of it. This is a weird hand. Uh, this is a weird hand. It's not a very good hand. Don't tell me our first match is... Oh, it's Dynamorphia. Oh, that's not much better. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's not much better. <laughs> Droll does... Uh, Droll does not help me here. God damn. So we're gonna have to... I'm gonna have to play Dynamorphia. Awesome. What did you just send the Groove? Intact. Okay. So that means there's a decently... Um, there's a much lower possibility then that either of those are intact i'm gonna go for maxi at the beginning of the turn just because he can't activate those traps until main phase which means we are going to draw cards off of him summoning which is nice uh we may draw something to unbreak potentially a droplet or an imperm would be very nice we're gonna go for the primeval planet pearl pearl arena i don't know how to fucking say that shit man um dinomorphia sonic oh damn all right fuck me then i kind of need that i'm not gonna lie I kinda need that. Um, does he go for lethal? I don't know if he gets. You know what? I'm gonna play a monster in defense just to be safe. I'm gonna chill. Not the greatest start in the world. Not the greatest start. Not gonna lie. I was not expecting the Sonic, but you know it happens. Not <laughs> not exactly stellar so far. And Fi is gonna go trap trick. Interesting. So do you not have Frenzy or Domain? Damn, that was such a golden opportunity then. Fuck. Uh, that's fine. He's going to get one of them. We do still have the Ash, which is nice. All right, all right, all right, all right. I wonder if uh, Kentragena copies like one of those trap cards, because technically you're applying its effect. Does that count as like an Ashable target? I'm not even sure. I have to Google that. <laughs> Can you ask Kendra Gina? <laughs> Alright, we are going to ask the Domain, though. So we'll shut that shit down right away. Nothing, really? Nothing. 
brother in Christ, give me a car. This is such a golden opportunity. Let me take advantage of it. Um. Any links? Anything I can do about this? Come on, man. Don't be doing your boy like this. Right, we're gonna go, we're gonna flip this up. Uh-huh. You got something? Gonna normal the drool. Okay. Alright, now we're going to go for the Sprite Elf. That doesn't get us lethal, man, but it's so close. So close to lethal. Uh, we're gonna grab Elf here. Yeah, uh huh. He does have frenzy. What the hell? All right, we're gonna chain elf then. Uh, grabbing back, meek. Imperm. Ah, fuck. That's not good. That is not good. Hmm. Sending Pharesia and Stealth Bird. Gonna bring out Kentrogena. Yep. Yeah, Chief, this ain't going my way. You know what? Starting off with a loss, bit of humility, right? Just so you all know, just, just so you all know I'm not cherry picking games. There you go. But a little bit of humility to start off the video, right? Let's just try this again. Alright, getting into our second game, and we do win the coin toss. That is a Nice improvement. Damn, is that the wind case? That actually looks kind of baller, I'm not going to lie. That actually looks kind of baller. It's got the wind border as well, so I imagine he's playing a wind deck, right? One could imagine. Wind sleeves, yeah, I'm kind of getting the getting the feeling he's playing some sort of green deck. He's playing a green deck. <laughs> Ooh, double meek in hand. A mm. little bit rough, I'm not going to lie. Don't really like that. Oh, we have ma I'm not even imagining those, so we can shuffle one back. Nice, I love this card. Love this card. Really think this is like a mandatory one of in most Monodium decks. Um, it's just really solid. It's just really solid, man. Because worst case scenario, this like eats an ash, right? Excellent. We draw. <laughs> Look at that. How can you tell me that's not a good card, man? How can you tell me that is not a top tier card, man? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, we're going to go Rhoda. Do we Rhoda for Reamheart? Or, I mean, like, I guess this can grab Visas, yeah. I guess we wrote him, uh, Rota for Ryum. Rota for Ryum. Alright, we're gonna start with, then, Ryum Heart. We're gonna search our deck for Abscission. Here we are. Good stuff. Time to get gaming. So, we're gonna special out the Meek. We're going to... we got a few options here. What's what's this in Grave? What are you doing, Grave? Target to da, 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 treat it as a tuner. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay, so we're going to start with... We could go Calarium and then Obsidian and just do it that way. Uh, which kind of makes more sense. Yeah, let's do that. Let's activate Calarium. Let's search our deck for a card. Uh, let's grab Visa Starfrost. Hell yeah. Then we're going to go Obsidian. We're going to pop the Meek with the Obsidian. It's going to search our deck for reframing. So that means we've got an Omni Negate already. And we've just popped our Meek, which means that we're going to be able to use its effect to special summon another Meek from deck as a level 4. And we can use Calarium to summon the original Meek back from the graveyard. And remember, we shuffled one of the Meeks back earlier in the turn, so we have full ammo in our deck uh, for using this card here. Visas being added to hand as well is pretty awesome because we don't even need to pop a card to summon it we have the Abscission in our graveyard. So we can just go for Abscission. How many summons have we had? One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, this is going to be number five. 
right? So originally when I saw this combo, they did not use Calarium right away, and there's a reason for that. So basically, this is now our sixth summon instead of our fifth summon, uh, which is which is decently important if you're worried about Nibiru. Luckily for us, we're just that guy, and we don't need to worry about Nib. So it ain't no fang, right? Doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. So we're going to go in the Baron here. Oh, he's got something he can use. Do you actually have Nib? Damn, it would suck to suck if you had Nib, huh? <laughs> it would suck to suck. Um, all right, so we're going to use these two now to go into Crush Heap. Oh, you can't. Oh, I need two different two different monsters. Oh, that that uh, that that fucks my uh... yikes. That ruins my plan a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you, Chief. I am not going to lie to you. Do I look like I would lie to you? I would never lie to you. Uh, that is a small problem, though. It's fine. We can we can abuse the Cross Sheep later. So we're going to leave Cross Sheep for now, then. Just going to leave it alone for now. Going to go into the Vicious Astrolite. Vicious Astrolite, of course, we're not going to pop anything just yet. Now we're going to use the Crimson Dragon here. We're going to go 4 plus 8 into our Crimson Dragon. Crimson Dragon, then, is going to tag itself out for a... What have you got? Like, what are you? what have you got? Like, you've got nothing. Just stop. We're going to use our Crimson Dragon, then, targeting our Baron. We're going to summon a Dispiator. Dispiator is a very useful extender in these, in these circumstances. So this should work out quite well for us. We can go into the cross sheep later and abuse a second astroloid. So it's literally it literally doesn't matter uh, whether or not we do it now. Irrelevant. So we summon out this Peter, which is all good. Uh huh. Then we're gonna activate the this Peter. We're gonna bring back the Visa Star Frost specifically. Great. So with the Visa Star Frost, now we are opening up our Scar Claw line. So, are, are, do you have Nib? Like, just activate it. I'm going to negate it. You can't use it. Just stop. Stop wasting the fame people at YouTube's time with this fucking nonsense. Uh, we're going to go Lightheart then. Lightheart going to skit searching our deck for a card. Going to grab our Field Spell, of course. The Royal Field Spell. Royal Rare. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now we're going to activate Reichphobia. Uh, we technically already got Reichhard in hand. I wonder if I could cheese out a another Visas here. Probably, yeah. I'm going to grab another Visa Starfrost here because we've already got Reichhard. Like, we don't need to search for it. And we haven't used the summoning condition of Starfrost. Remember, we used Obsession to summon it the first time. So we can still summon this guy. Uh, so we're going to start off with Reichhard underneath the Lightheart. Right here. We're going to activate. We're going to search. And we're going to draw because we have three monsters in defense. So that is pretty baller, not gonna lie. Pretty baller. I uh, get the draw. Drawing a Rium Heart, kinda nice. Okay, so we're in a interesting spot here. So we could do quite a number of things. We could do Trisuka and we could do that whole line now. That might be the way. Although Cross Sheep may just be better. Cross Sheep may honestly just be better. Let me see, do I need a level two Meek for anything? I might. Level 2 Meek would be nice. So we're going to start with the Reichhardt and the Lightheart. In the Cross Sheep. Alright, 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 alright. Got anything? You don't have anything, buddy. Just stop. Just just stop. Just turn your toggle off. You can't use anything. Going to go for Star Frost here. We're going to pop the Meek. Oh, maybe we should have summoned Cross Sheep over here. Oh, I just realized that that's probably something that I would, should have done. Um, <laughs> I probably should have done that. Uh, that's fine. We're going to go for the Meek nonetheless. All right. Bringing itself back. Or bringing another Meek from deck. Sorry, do I need to make you a level? Uh, I don't think I need to increase your level at all for any reason. So that's okay. Right, so what we're going to do, just to make sure that our Visa Starfrost is in the graveyard and thus optimizing our usage of resources. I have one in grave already, actually. Yeah, I don't need to do that. 
But I would need room for Meek to come back. So I am going to Synchro Summon here using these two into our Amritara. Into the Amritara. Going to be able to abuse it in just a moment. So you'll you'll see what this is about. So this is going to grab us another card. We can grab a... We can grab another arrival. In fact, that is, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty baller. I like it. I like it, I like it. I like it a lot. Special summon out our second Astrolite. Banishing Visas and the Rykart. Loving it. Right here. Now we're going to use Cross Sheep. We're going to bring back a Meek from Grave. Good, good, good. Meek comes back. Now, a lot of people would use this opportunity to go into a um, Apollosa, like a like a Apollosa with several materials. I'm not too big on that. I would definitely prefer just having the Sprite Elf. So we're going to use Cross Sheep and we're going to use Amritara. Going to summon out the Sprite Elf right here. And because we have the double arrival, um, this is pretty fucking amazing. <laughs> so we're going to use these two. Gonna go into the Azurine. Do I have... Ah, oh, I banished my right card. That's right. Um, it's kind of annoying. But it, 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 it kind of, but it's okay. Let's go for the... So we can use Elf. So we just need to do it weird. It doesn't matter too much. It just, it just needs to be done weird. So we bring back the Meek off of the Elf. Then we need to pop the Meek for Rium Heart. Perfection. Out it comes. There we go, Arrival, to bring back Visa Starfrost. Hell yeah. There we are. And now we go into a... Light powered chaos angel. Now, not dark powered, so we're not immune to battle destruction. But I'm gonna be honest, I kind of prefer that because then now if they swing into my elf, they can't just like swing over elf or lethal, right? They have to, they, if they attack it, it gets destroyed. That works for me. So we've got one omni, two omnis, one banish, another disruption, total protection. We've got protection in the form of arrival, we've got an ash blossom. Got a lot of shit, baby. We got a lot of fucking stuff. We've got a lot of stuff. So I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident. I think this is going to be totally fine. Um, a lot of people would maybe have opted for a high material Apollosa there instead of going all the way into the Chaos Angel. And I, you know, to an extent, I get that. Um, it would make sense if your objective was just maximum amount of interruptions, but I feel like the uh, floodgate protection of something like Chaos Angel is, is definitely worth noting. Unless they use something like Ultimate Slayer. What? God damn. Um, I'm negating that. I am absolutely negating that. Are you fucking insane? And then the... Uh, Ultimate Slayer, doesn't that just... I'm oh, sorry, the, the Malong. Target to face a card your opponent controls or return it to the hand. I'm pretty sure all of my guys are unaffected, right? Hang on. I'm pretty sure I'm just unaffected, right? Yeah, I am. <laughs> it just didn't work. It just didn't work. I don't know what to tell you. I, I just got another one? You son of a bitch! Damn, he really wants to take up my Dispater! What a bitch! Double Ultimate Slayer in hand? You're a fucking psychopath! You're a fucking psycho! God damn! Okay, Herald, I guess? Um, we can let Herald go, that's fine. <laughs> That is wild. Hang on, does that... Does that include Link Monsters? 
It could do, yeah. So he could have just sent like a link monster to deal with our elf. He wouldn't got so much value out of it though, because I don't think there's a ton of like link monsters that do shit in Grave. But still, man. Okay, gonna activate Ecclesia. Um Yeah, I'll ash that. I'll ash to that, bro. Got another card in hand? No, he does not. Okay. If you want to give me something worth banishing, I'll banish it. I will. You think I won't? Magnomet. Okay. That's interesting. Um, You're locked out of the extra deck, though, so you can't, uh, you can't like, go Chaos Angel on me. Uh, I'm fine with that. That's okay. Again, he doesn't really do much of anything. Like, I'm saving my interruptions for, like, a point where he's actually able to do something, right? It just doesn't... He's not doing anything right now. So, uh, you know, maybe maybe, maybe one day he'll, he'll play a card that does stuff, and then we'll negate it, right? So, until that day, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so he's playing obviously some sort of dogmatic nonsense. Ultimate Slayer and Dogmatica, that's pretty fucking dope. Honestly, probably one of the best board breakers in these style of decks. Uh, Dogmatica Calamity, I think I am going to get that one, actually. I think I'm going to get that one. Uh, I think that's the one I'm going to get. For sure. Dogmatica Calamity. Ooh, Dogmatica Cambrai. Uh, I don't know if you have the gas for that. You can get to level 10. I think you need 12 for a potential... Uh... Dude, oh wait, hang on. You can also do from field, though, can't you? Ah, you can. Fuck. Shit. Okay. Here he is. The Albazoa. Fuck. Let me see... That's fine. Right, we're gonna go Sprite Elf. We're gonna bring back a Meek from Grave. I know, Tamer. I get it. Battle Fears. Alright, what are you gonna swing into here? Swing into the Chaos Angel. I am gonna use this just to get it to fucking shut up. Shuffle back three. And I'm also going to activate Azurine. Because I don't think he's going to, like, do anything else. Uh, it's totally fine. So he gets rid of Chaos Angel. Probably going to get rid of Sprite Elf as well. Both of which are valid. Okay, so maybe the Dark Protection would have been kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. Maybe the Dark Protection would have worked out for us. But it's fine. I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident we can get rid of an Albazoa. It's going to be annoying, but we can do it. I just... I didn't have time to, to select. I just picked three. I didn't have time. Magnama going to get searching. I think this is fine. Um, extra X looking kind of thin, but we got this. I'm pretty confident we got this. Imperm, that would have been handy. Uh, not anymore, though. <laughs> would have been useful last turn, maybe. I've already used your Negid, actually, so I am going to tag Baron out for something. Uh, let's bring back the Amritara, I guess. Yeah, I mean, there's not exactly a ton of options. Drissworm, okay. Fuck, that actually really stings, huh? That, uh, that really hurts. Hmm, 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 hmm. That sucks. That sucks a lot, actually. Okay, um, oh, wait, do I not have any arrival targets? Oh, no, that sucks worse than I thought it did. 
Oh no. Oh no, I thought I had a rival targets. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you fucking got my ass. Oh fuck, man. I felt like we were doing okay there. I mean, you saw the combo to begin with. Maybe the app, maybe Apollos is the way, right? I mean, apparently Chaos Angel didn't do Jack, Jack fucking. I mean, to be fair, the Ultimate Slayer would have just dealt with Apollosa, so. I don't know. Pick your poison. Anyways, game three, I guess. I feel like double Ultimate Slayer is pretty fucking bullshit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I think double Ultimate Slayer in hand is kind of sus. Not gonna lie. I would like to speak to a judge about that. Ah, uh, I would like to speak to a judge about this. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? What, what blind second decks are we seeing? Like, is that Makongo bullshit? Makongo has been on the rise. It has been. Oh, brother, don't hit me with that bullshit. I mean, I have outs, but like, don't do that to me. Come on, man. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Okay, so we're going to start with the Primitive Planet then. We're going to grab ourselves a Reichardt. Cool you. Right, now we're going to go Calarium. Calarium's going to grab us Reum Heart, of course. All right, now we're off to the races. It's time to combo. Let's fucking do this. Uh, Reum Heart on summon. Gonna get searching our deck for a Meek. Meek. Oh, that's kind of rude. It's kind of rude. Not gonna lie. Uh, in fact, yeah. Too rude. Too rude for me. Can't do that. Nah, -uh. Wouldn't lie. Come on, man. This is what I mean, right? The only fuckers who let me play the game are the ones who have these broken, crazy hands that can play through it. Anyone else just insta scoops. Son of a bitch. What kind of plain second deck scoops if Maxi uh, doesn't resolve? That's some fucking. That's some. That, that, that just. That play just lacks testicular fortitude. I'm not gonna lie. You might be a pussy. You might be. I hate to be the one to tell you, but unfortunately, you've been diagnosed with terminal bitch. All right. Oh. There's a lot of gas in this hand, not a lot of protection. So let's not get too excited. Let's go. Let's go Rota. Not a lot of protection in this hand, so it's a little bit dicey. We're going to grab ourselves, of course, the Reichardt. No Droll, which is a good start. Doesn't seem to have Ash either, which is also pretty interesting. Uh, no prompt for Maxi yet, but it could be holding off on that for when I actually summon something. Now we're going to go Calarium. We're going to tag out our third search of the turn. <laughs> what, do you not like that my whole hand was Rhoda? What do you mean? Do you not like that my I had a DIY hand, build it yourself hand? What the fuck is that? See you later. All right, so these uh, these surrenders are getting a little bit out of hand here, Konami. You're going to have to throw your boy a bone. Uh, I feel like that second game we did really showed off most of what I wanted to show off when it comes to the deck. So I I, I selected go okay. Don't do that to me. Uh, so I feel like that first game showed off pretty much most, uh, if not all, of what I wanted to show off. Right in terms of just the combo potential with the Crimson Dragon and such. Um, I would like to win a game legitimately. Uh, but it seems as though our opponents just automatically, if they see that you're playing Monodium and they don't have the out, they just leave. Which, like, I mean, I can't get, but come on, man, it's bullshit. Alright, we're gonna go Reum Heart. Ash Blossom. Uh, I would really like Obsidian here, but, but, I can play without it. And... Oh, but it helps us get Calarium, doesn't it? Uh, no, we can search Calarium off of the, uh... Aw... Oh. Yeah, I think this is fine. I would just really rather hold cross out for something else. Yeah, see, th that's not his only card, right? He's got something. I'm pretty sure he's got something else. Uh, get your fucking feet away from me, you creep. Um, right. So we've got the Meek. 
So if we didn't have Meek in hand, we definitely cross that out. But because we got Meek, we can kind of play despite it. So let's just do that. All right, we got Trisuka. Perfection. Trisuka is going to bring back the Meek once again. See, he's got, he's fucking got something, man. I fucking knew it. He's got something. Meek comes back. Now we're going to use these two. We're going to go into Amritara. See, this is a good Imperm. So if you've got, like, Imperm Veiler, this is when you... I'm... I'm gonna try one more. All right, let's say I'm gonna try one more. Um, losing the coin toss, whatever. So, <laughs> like, there's only so many free wins your boy can take. And that's the thing. Like, Monodial's one of those decks where it's so damn powerful that if you can't beat it, you know you can't beat it, right? There's no, like... There's no misalignment. There's no if ands, ors, buts, or maybes. Um, that is a 60 card deck, so I'm definitely going for Maxi off the rip. Absolutely. Um, so you know when you can't beat it. And our opponent knows. Our opponent's struggling with the knowledge. He can't cope with it. Quem. Normal Quem pass, I would imagine, is the play here. Hmm. Sending Albaz. Yup. Branded lost. Very interesting. Branded lost, set one pass. Okay, interesting. This is a... This is a hand. There, this, there's definitely cards in this hand. This is a pretty good hand, actually. Uh, depending on whether or not he has any hand traps. If he has, like, a... Maxi, of course, it's uh, the sucks, right? But under like all of our circumstances, this is pretty solid. Okay, so we're gonna go for Rykphobia. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Doom! <laughs> oh, no. Right, we're gonna drop the right card, I guess. Oh, fuck. That's fine. I, let's just hope that this time is nothing. <laughs> if it's banishment, I'm going to be so upset. Um, damn, that was not very... I can't believe I did that. That's so dumb. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Remark. Let's fucking do this shit anyway. Let's fucking do it anyway. Who gives a shit? Let's go Meek. Alright, we got this. We're gonna special out the Meek then to the field. Good stuff, good stuff. And now we're gonna use... These two. Grabbing ourselves Trisuka. Activating Trisuka. Gonna grab back Meek. Oh, that was that little something. He had a little something there. That's a little something. All right, I'm gonna go for a rival. So that's one summon, two summon, three summon, four summon. This will be five summon. This will be our fifth summon. Oh, Saranir. Oh, that sucks. Um, it's fine though. If that's his only card, like I can live with that. If that's, like, the only one, that's honestly okay. All right, Starfrost. We're going to pop the Meek. We're going to summon out Visa Starfrost. Activating its effect. We're going to bring back Meek from the grave. Out it comes. We will not change its level. But I will be using the Rykphobia to pop the back row. Super Poly. Fuck! Ah, oh, Super Poly hurts so much. Um, he definitely fuses Visus and Trisuka, right? Into Mud Dragon. I don't think I have a play if he does that. 
I do. I actually do. It's fine. Oh, into Masquerade? Oak Paradis. Oh, okay. That's fur, I guess. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, he does get to search for a card, but I don't think he can search for anything too problematic. Like, uh, he can search for, like, Mercury or whatever, but he can't use it. So, like, whatever he searches here is not ultimately super useful. Which is fine. I can live with that. Grabs Albion for a potential follow-up. Okay, he's committing to the follow-up. Gotcha. We, however, are going to commit to beating thine ass. So, if I go for you, you grab Calarium. Calarium grabs me... Bullshit? Question mark? Or do I want to go for you first? Let's go Amritara. Uh, let's just go Amritara for now. The Quiritus is an interesting choice. I kind of get it. I kind of dig it. But, um... Definitely an interesting choice. Okay, we're gonna grab a card from deck to hand. We've got Calarium, Obsidian, we've got all this good stuff. I think Calarium is the way, though. Yeah, because your V's a Starfrost. Um, oh, if I were playing Torrid, this would be even better, but I'm not. But we're not, so get over it. Gonna add a card to hand. I have already special summoned Meek, haven't I? Argamos, okay, you've summoned yourself. Damn, I actually don't have a way to... ...summon something, do I? I don't think I do. Let me see. So if I go into Lightheart... Got a Rium Heart and Grave. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a little bit dicey, I think. But um, but bear with me. This may be slightly dicey, but just trust in the process. Okay, let's go Astrolide. Okay. Astrolide can... it can pop a card, I guess. Uh, I don't think Sarenir can do anything particularly dangerous if we pop it. The uh, Quiritus can, of course. He can summon Albaz from deck. That would be rather unfortunate. I'm gonna send a card to Grieve. Probably Retribution, I would say. Yeah, that's fine. Damn, man, this is tough. Uh, see, because he can use the fucking. Well, if we destroy Quiritus, hang on. If this face-up card in its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, only if it leaves the field by card effect. Okay, let's go battle phase. That's okay, that forces him to use that. That's fine. So we can go light hard, we grab the field spell. We've already used the field spell though, the Reichphobia, so I actually don't even run another one. It doesn't grab anything. Uh, then we could turn you two into this, but I don't have either material necessary in my grave to take advantage of it, so I guess we're just gonna go battle phase for now, take out the Quiritus. Which fucking sucks, because he does have the uh, access to Branded Fusion here, so he does. He does have access to Branded Fusion. This sucks. This really sucks. That Super Poly hurts so much. I mean, I don't know. It, it did suck, but... Uh. Was there anything we could have done differently? Did I fuck it up? I mean, I guess dropping the fucking Reem Heart off our droplet fucking was stupid as hell. So part of this is my fault, for sure. I can't believe I fucked up on that droplet, man. Totally my fault, too. Just blind clicking. I was just autopilot. Okay, 
Albion and the Lost. Gonna grab Mercurio from the deck. Gonna use Albion Fusion Summon. We've all seen Branded before. Branded is not new, not news, and not... Not exciting. Uh, so we've got this. I can only imagine a Fusion Summon into... Directly to Mirror Jade? That makes sense. You've already got the Fusion Engrave. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. I get it. Okay, gonna tribute you off for Lavellion. Yup. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, Mirror G, gonna send a card, gonna banish a card. Astrolite is gone. Okay, okay. What do I top deck to win this? Assuming I don't die this turn. Which I might. Okay, I think I'm alive. Right, what do I top deck that wins me this game? Ah, uh, well, you're gonna come right the fuck back. I don't know what you. I don't know what you thought was gonna happen here, Chief. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you thought was gonna happen. <laughs> All right, Cartesia. Gonna fuse with, please fuse with more courier. He does not. Fuck. Okay, gonna go in the ground and all. Hmm. Bran, Gwynol. Grand Gwynol is gonna mill a card. We've got Albion and Titanic Lad activating their effects and grave this Enfius. That's fucking troublesome. That, sir, is problematic. Gonna send Lulu Wallalif. So Lulu is going to activate special summon out of spellcaster from hand deck or grave or just hand or deck. Hand or deck. Okay, going to summon Qua uh, Ecclesia. Oh, that's smart. That quick play fusion summon. Damn. Okay, banishment. I don't see a feasible way for us to win this. Once Branded has have this resu uh, resource loop going, it's just fucking impossible to keep up. It really is, man. They've been the best deck in the game for a reason. That is for damn sure, sir. Hmm. Okay, we're going to normal the Rheum Heart. I get Surgeon. I imagine you're going to probably mark Courier this. No, he's not. He's going to go Brandit Regain and bring him back Saranir. That means no room for Quem? Question mark? I guess you just need to go for Ecclesia first. Then summon your Fusion Monster in the extra Monster Zone, and then you got room for Quem. So, yeah, I mean, I guess. That makes sense. Okay, we grab Meek. Summon Meek. Um, hmm. This is just, uh, this is just tough, man. I got two Meek and Grave. So even if I pop this, I can't even summon one from deck. Let me have a look. Yeah. Now I really don't see a way that this could go my way. He's a Star Frost, and I can't even use that for a fucking. Let's let's try something. Let's try. That's a little bit desperate. Let's try something. Uh, we're gonna go in the cross sheep. This is a little desperate, so it is. I get that. Uh, but let's let's try it. Right, better than losing off the rip. At least we can say we tried. Gonna banish uh, banish these two. Summoning out a astrolide. Gonna activate Astrolite, Chain Link 1. Gonna get rid of that Quim. 
Chin Link 2 cross ship. Ah! Oh, <laughs> no! Asherim was my aunt! Asherim was the way! Oh, no! <sighs> Fuck, man, because we could have used Asherim to protect ourselves from the Albaz. <sighs> damn. Damn, damn, damn. We tried. Again, we tried. Like, what? What do you want from me? She's using a cross sheep. Rinbrum? Oh, and then he gets the fucking summon. Okay. Okay. Grabs Albion. Yeah, I've got nothing. Good game. Good game. He got me. Well. I don't know. I don't know if that's that's not a whole video. <laughs> Let's just look at the deck profile. We'll talk more about it. At the very least, we get it. <laughs> at the very least, we did get to show off many of the combos uh, in the deck, and ultimately, that's all I'm really after. Uh, you saw yourself. Any time that our opponents didn't have a fucking cracked hand, where they were able to just completely like they knew they could play through, they they immediately surrender. So I refuse to accept somebody saying in the comments that this is a video of me getting beat. I got beat by the people who had the crazy hands and decided to, to stay and play, right? Anyone else, I beat, right? Didn't look like it because they instantly surrendered, but they instantly surrendered because I had their fucking asses dialed in, right? And I will not accept anything to the contrary. But anyways, that is the deck. Those are the duels. Again, if you got this far into the video, make sure you like it. If you enjoyed watching me get my fucking ass beat, if you did not enjoy watching, then I don't know. Good best of luck elsewhere. I don't know what to tell you, Chief. So... <laughs> Like the video if you got this far, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and do check out Converge Gaming Plus in the description as well. If you're interested in other games or more community-based gameplay, that's going to be growing as well over the next while. Uh, but yeah, that's everything from me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.